The Federal Art Project, 1935-43, was a New Deal program to fund the visual arts in the United States. Under National Director Holger Cahill, it was one of five Federal Project No. 1 projects sponsored by the Works Progress Administration, and the largest of the New Deal art projects. It was created not as a cultural activity but as a relief measure to employ artists and artisans to create murals, easel paintings, sculpture, graphic art, posters, photography, theater scenic design, and arts and crafts. The WPA Federal Art Project established more than 100 community art centers throughout the country, researched and documented American design commissioned a significant body of public art without restriction to content or subject matter, and sustained some 10,000 artists and craft workers during the Great Depression. Background The Federal Art Project was the visual arts arm of the Great Depression era Works Progress Administration, a Federal One program. Funded under the Emergency Relief Appropriation Act of 1935. It operated from August 29, 1935, until June 30, 1943. It was created as a relief measure to employ artists and artisans to create murals, easel paintings, sculpture, graphic art, posters, photography, index of American design documentation, museum and theater scenic design, and arts and crafts. The Federal Art Project operated community art centers throughout the country where craft workers and artists worked, exhibited and educated others. The project created more than 200,000 separate works, some of them remaining among the most significant pieces of public art in the country. The Federal Art Project's primary goals were to employ out-of-work artists and to provide art for non-federal municipal buildings and public spaces. Artists were paid $23.60 a week, tax-supported institutions such as schools, hospitals and public buildings paid only for materials. The work was divided into art production, art instruction and art research. The primary output of the art research group was the Index of American Design, a mammoth and comprehensive study of American material culture. As many as 10,000 artists were commissioned to produce work for the WPA Federal Art Project, the largest of the New Deal art projects. Three comparable but distinctly separate New Deal art projects were administered by the United States Department of the Treasury, the Public Works of Art Project, 1933-34, the Section of Painting and Sculpture, 1934-43, and the Treasury Relief Art Project, 1935-38. The WPA program made no distinction between representational and non-representational art. Abstraction had not yet gained favor in the 1930s and 1940s and, thus, was virtually unsaleable. As a result, the Federal Art Project supported such iconic artists as Jackson Pollock before their work could earn them income. One particular success was the Milwaukee Handicraft Project, which started in 1935 as an experiment that employed 900 people who were classified as unemployable due to their age or disability. The project came to employ approximately 5,000 unskilled workers, many of them women and the long-term unemployed. Historian John Gerda observed that the city's unemployment hovered at 40% in 1933. In that year, he said, 53% of Milwaukee's property taxes went unpaid because people just could not afford to make the tax payments. Workers were taught book binding, block printing and design, which they used to create handmade art books and children's books. They produced toys, dolls, 
theater costumes, quilts, rugs, draperies, wall hangings and furniture that were purchased by schools, hospitals and municipal organizations for the cost of materials only. In 2014, when the Museum of Wisconsin Art mounted an exhibition of items created by the Milwaukee Handicraft Project, furniture was found that was still being used at the Milwaukee Public Library. Holger Cahill was national director of the Federal Art Project. Other administrators included Audrey McMahon, director of the New York region, New York, New Jersey, and Philadelphia, Clement B. Hoppers, director for Minnesota, and Robert Bruce Inverarity, director for Washington State.